Okie dokie. Good morning, Jennifer. Are we behaving? Hello, my sweetheart. How are you? Hello, my little Toriki. How are you? We I'm are well. Guys. I also have, I have two rolling pins. Do you, girl? Big yes. ones or small ones? One is <laughs> big one and one is small. <laughs> <laughs> you have to. <laughs> I like variety. <laughs> so do I. It's thought... a spice of life. <laughs> Jennifer, I okay. Okay. Like all... I thought all rolling pins were made equal. No, darling, come on. Not even people are made equal. Don't be silly now. So you get all different our... sizes. I've just seen them and in the colors. usual. Okay. Yes, you get different colors and different sizes. You get them in marble. You get them in porcelain. So, you get them in wood. Yes. So, so what? what's the what's your preferred one? The marble uh, or wood? Me. Or which one? And it, it, does it differ like when it comes to whatever one. you are rolling I like rolling the out? brown one because this one just fits beautifully into my hand. Look at that. You see, it's comfortable. <laughs> um, but it depends. If you're rolling a roti or if you're rolling a dim sum. Now, if you're rolling a dim sum, the Chinese have a little one like that. And you put it in your hand and Isn't you, can, that a you can roll it. No, no, not you can use the chopstick depending. Uh, but you know, they make those lovely little pancakes. So there's a smaller little one. I'm not yes. going to go putting in the drawers. I have them all, doll. Um, and I never said I had them all. I said I still have them all. Um, mm. and, and, and so you can use whichever one you want um, to do this. Um, there's plastic ones, silicone ones, there's all kinds of rolling pins. Um, so I've got this on lovely kitchen aid one, which is, yeah, this one is fabulous. I can use it for everything. Now, my little pinwheels, I've just taken them out of the oven, but I'm not going to give you a sneak preview yet because I want to tell you what to do. And we did we welcome our streamers and our screamers? Hello, everybody. Oh, They're good listening morning, to us. Everybody. Yes, we're live. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> so I'm going to start off with, I'm going to, you can either spray or butter. Uh, but you know what? I, I like a bit of olive oil because I'm that kind of girl. Um, I like the olive oil because it adds flavor to these because it makes the pastry a little bit crisper for me. So I'm going to just paint this up and get it out of the way. And then you can just buy pastry. Okay, pastry is just going to make your life so much easier just to go and buy. Um, so this is going here for in a few minutes time. And um, there are two ways I've got, I've lost my ear. And there are two ways and that one can do this, Julian. And we can either bake them in the oven. And you know, you've all met Mike, right? Yes. You've met Mike now. So now I have Philip. 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 Philip, mm. oh yes. Philip, what well, does actually, he do? He's, well, he, he's very dark. Um, and he's got a brown handle. Well, he's got, you know, <laughs> it's Philip. It's not a, a Philip. <laughs> <laughs> I got myself a lovely big, 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 I like big, big de um, air fryer. <laughs> <laughs> so Philip is an air fryer. Okay. <laughs> He's a plural. He's a plural, okay. Philips. So uh, you can even do it um, in an air fryer if you want to, okay? Oh, wow. um, but So you need an oven or something because the pastry needs that heat to go all the way around. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. I want to just whack this right between my lips. Look at this. Look at this crispy on the mm. bottom. Stunning. Jen, so, so yes. what is a pin roll? Is it a pinwheel. Pin a pinwheel. A, a pin it's just a name that you would give because by the time you've rolled this into the Swiss roll shape and cut it, it just looks like a wheel. So first thing but I'm like, going to do. Like little, yes. but like almost like layers of circles around each other yes, like that. Yes, yeah. yeah, almost that. Almost that. Um, I've got feta cheese and I've got some um, um, beautiful cheddar cheese. Use something nice and strong. Um, I like strong because I like mature, you know, not What's too young. What's in there now? Sorry. So feta? Spinach. Feta mm -hmm. spinach and um, some cheddar cheese. And then I have got, I've just taken some mushrooms and I've chopped them very finely. If you've got a little machine, you can just break them up in the machine. And a little bit of streaky bacon. Is this all this raw? No, bacon, I just, Mike helped me with that. You can do it on the stove as well. Um, but I just popped it into the microwave. Spinach, also, I just um, blanched. 
just to collapse it a little bit because remember spinach got a very high water content so you don't want all this water and the same with mushrooms i did those also in the microwave um, just with some lovely olive oil and some garlic and some chopped herbs from the garden and so here we have our mixture which is just as simple and as delicious as this and um, what we do is we're going to just pack it into your pastry pop that over there and i've rolled my pastry out already because the do's and the don'ts to... with the pastry, Jane. I know we've spoken well, about this, but I forgot. No, always, already. always. So pastry cold wants hands? to be cold, cold hands and cold pastry. So this has been in the fridge, and it's very important now that when we actually do this, that um, you work quickly. And cold hands are lovely. And if you know you've got hot hands like me, all you do is stick them into just plunge them into some ice water, um, and it'll do the trick. Now look, depending on how um, big you want these to be or how much filling you want into these um, it's just a matter of just taking your filling like this and you take the it's the length okay you don't want a short stubby uh, pin roll you want it nice and long and fat so this is what we do and we just spread it evenly otherwise someone's going to get a mouthful and someone's not so just mm. make sure it's a nice even and what i like to do is always leave a little border um, on the ends because it's just much better when you seal it so let me put some more here because I'm greedy oh, look at the spinach out of my garden can you believe it you know how easy it is to grow spinach people you can actually put your seeds in now now's the time that you can still or go to the nursery and buy six plants and put them in you'll have spinach right all the way through does that look good mm. if you want chili you can add chili Yeesh. to this you can add we'll always need chili. Of course, my love. So um, however you want to, to flavor this, um, it belongs to you. If you don't want spinach, you only want mushrooms, and the mushrooms should be a little bit more chunky. I don't know what's wrong with my ear today, but I've, I haven't got a flea in it, and I can't even stick it. I'm going to wash my hands because it keeps popping out. There we go. Why are you laughing? Because I said it keeps <laughs> popping out. <laughs> they said the actress to the bishop <laughs> okay here we go so here and now Jules we take it you can always use this piece of paper this plastic that comes with your um, pastry okay just to help you to to lift it or if you are an experienced little roller you can just do that my father used sometimes roll his own cigarettes I think it's like rolling a Riesler Hey, look at that. And then just press it nicely and press all that filling together because you don't want it to be loose. You want it to be nicely packed. And then just go again. And then at this point, I want to just seal it. I want to seal that side. Behave yourself with some lovely beaten egg. You can use milk as well if you want to, especially if you're vegan. Um, you can, you don't have to use the, the egg, you can use milk and then just do that. But make sure that it's nice and tight, okay? You want your filling to be nice and tight. I'm just bringing it back on the plastic like that. Just to give it a good old press, okay? Just do that. And then we're going to cut it and just stick it straight onto... Now, if you want them all things equal, if you want all things equal, then try and kind of, you can use a ruler if you want to, just try and get into the middle. I normally do that. And then I put it next to, it's Mikey there, okay? And I just trim the ends. This one has got a loose end, which I'm going to trim off. And then we're going to paint it. Now, that, what I love about this is you can add texture by adding sesame seeds or sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, flax seeds, all those delicious seeds. You could at this point just make a log like this. You can cut it into four and, and use it actually as a family meal. Or you can use it as a snack as we're going to do it. And we're going to do, that's where the pinwheel comes in, okay? Julian, this is lovely for the holiday house, I'm telling you. Absolutely gorgeous mm. with sun dried tomatoes with it, oh, so many olive tapenade. Um, you can really take the, the, the filling and own it. Okay, so I'm going to measure like that, and now we're going to get equal. 
portions when we cut. You need to not press it too hard and then just press down nicely, like so. Oh, and so, so it's quite feel, thick. Oh, it's lovely. Look at this. I mean, look at the size of yeah. this. It's a nice, it's a biggie, you know, look. And Jen, the baking tray is cold, right? It's not like always out cold. The oven. Yeah, yeah. No, it must be cold because you, you otherwise, you know, you've got fat in, in the pastry and you want your pastry to be crisp. So if you're going to put it onto a hot baking tray, what's going to happen? It's unlike when you make a quiche and you want that pastry to cook, you know, a nice and crisp and not wet on the bottom. This is very, very different. So it's a very good tip to actually put this tray in the oven. Um, in the fridge and then pack onto a nice cold tray because it really helps give you a lovely end finish. So look right, at that, doesn't this look gorgeous? Okay, you can do this with mince, mince meat, mince meat. Where's our, is, is, are you back, Aiden? I'm back, I'm back, I'm watching you. I'm, I'm seeing you in action there, lady. It's looking fabulous. Um, so Jenny's making, Jenny's making pinwheels. Uh, Jules and Tara have been watching. Uh, Tara, the kind of thing you think you can knock together? Obviously, mine is the mince, right? Yes, 100%. And Actually, this, these ones don't have mints. So okay. it's mushroom, it's spinach, there's some cheese involved. It's actually the perfect thing. Mm -hmm. And lentils and, uh, you can add to it. And what? Lentils for Tara. Lentils. You could add some lentils, soya <laughs> mints, anything. Look, I'm good. Mental I'm good lentil. with the way it's currently being made with the oh. mushrooms. Don't you eat a lentil? Are no, you I, do, I do, I do. A good girl. I do. You would eat all your pulses, <laughs> otherwise you're not being perfectly balanced, nutritionally sound. And then mm. they just go like this, straight into a lovely hot oven, 200 degrees. Um, and we've got a thermo fan, you can kind of put it in at 180, 190, because the air circulates beautifully. Jenny, and, and talk, to me, talk to me about heat. Talk to me about heat in an oven, because some people just some people just whack up the heat. Uh, you know, they, they turn the dial till they feel comfortable uh, without it necessarily <laughs> being 180 or 200. I mean, it's just a matter of, as long as the oven is hot. Does it yes. really matter? Do, do the 10 yes. degrees difference, does it really make that much of a difference? 190 instead of 180. 170 if you're instead baking, of 180. If you no, if you're baking, it makes all the difference. Yeah. But if you're doing meat, it doesn't matter. Because sometimes I cook a chicken, believe it or not, on like 140, 150 for a mm -hmm. long time because I want to go and yep. work in the garden. Mm -hmm. And it works for me. And often you'll see that Greek lamb will go on a like 130, 140 and cook long and slow. So when it comes to meat, it's not mm -hmm. a criteria, but the minute you start baking, um, then then you need to be you need to be a little bit more precise because remember, baking is a science. And For sure. All right, and um, and one eighty is kind of your rule of thumb when it comes to heat, is it? Uh, as, as far as baking is concerned, one eighty is a is sort of a a good number to be on, but one eighty possibly a bit higher, but one eighty is safe, is it? I think she's frozen. Yeah, oh, yeah, she's frozen. Oh, well, I mean, I she's think clearly it matters not... what you're baking. She's clearly not on 180 then. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to turn up Jenny's heat then. All right, we're just adding her back into the live stream there just for a moment. You know, this is what technology does. It somehow throws you away uh, from time to time. But Jules, I mean, the, the kind of thing you see yourself making at some point? Yes, it's very simple. I mean, it's pastry, shop bought pastry. You yep. just roll it out like Jenny did. Um, yeah. It's easy. I think the filling is really up to you. Like, but the stuff like Jenny was saying with, um, she used spinach and mushrooms. Like she said, that's got a lot of water. The water content in uh, those veggies are quite high. So you need yeah. to make sure that you cook it properly so that that water doesn't release itself in the pastry. So Ooh. she blanched the the um, the spinach and she did the mm -hmm. mushrooms with a little bit of olive oil in the microwave and then chopped it up finely. So I think if you understand your, your fillings, the stuff that you put in there and you know it's fat content, it's water content, uh, because that can ruin it, I'd imagine, if something is yeah. too fatty and too oily or too much water, especially with pastry and the the golden rule uh, Jenny was saying uh, with pastry is you have to work with it very quickly and it has to be cold so mm -hmm. like 
you know, make sure that that baking tray is cold. Make sure that you um, keep it in the fridge. Maybe that was a tip she gave us. Keep it in the fridge. Make sure that it's cold. Make sure that the pastry is cold. When you take it out that very last minute before you start rolling and cutting um, and then into the hot oven. Okay. All right. Well, listen, I mean, we, we can cope with our Jenny, it seems. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, I listen with when, when Jenny yeah. speaks. I mean, she's the authority. And you know how often it's helped me? Sometimes I'm yeah. just, it's silly things, man, whether I'm putting together a cheese platter or whatever, mm -hmm. then something will pop up in my head. Um, Jenny said you could do this, or Jenny said you yeah. could do that. And then it really just it makes a difference. And people are like, wow, okay, you know your thing. For sure. All right. Listen, we've lost Jenny. I think she's got some power issues. Uh, so we'll pick it up with her uh, again next Thursday morning, fooling around with Jenny Morris. But the, the recipe uh, and, in fact, the, the video of her doing a thing all available, um, not only in the live stream, if you've been watching, thanks very much. Uh, thanks for all the comments. But uh, otherwise, what you can do is just at your convenience, uh, go along, check it out on our social media. All right. We'll pop uh, the recipe, the method and the how and everything else uh, linked to it uh, right there. Cool. It is 28 now after 8 o'clock. We've got news at 